Welcome back to Let's Play the Old Republic, Sith Warrior Edition. I'm Hunter Black Luna, this is Jorviak, and this is our, um, friend, vet. Let's just, friend, friend works. Yeah, yeah. Today our task is simple. We must face the final trial and use vet's knowledge of the tomb to make it happen. I was hoping to do the heroic plus twos on Korriban, however, at the time of day I'm doing it, there's like literally ten people on, and nobody's really up for it, so I'm gonna untrack these, see, maybe, th I'll probably have one more chance of doing it, but for now, let us proceed on the story undaunted. Oh, hey, a sentry. Acolyte, may I speak to you for a moment? <laughs> I'm always willing to listen to a beautiful woman. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're too kind, really. There was another Acolyte, oh. not long ago, who entered this tomb and did not come back. He... he died in there. Tell me how he died. I don't know, but I could tell he was dying. I heard him scream, even through the great tomb doors. The acolyte who went in there, he... he was a good sort. Friendly and talkative. He said he was entering the tomb to prove himself to his father. I just thought it would be nice if somebody took his body back and told his father he didn't make it. Yes, the father should be told that his son has fallen. I'd never survive in there. And even if I did, I wouldn't be allowed to see his father. He is a Dark Honor Guard stationed in the Academy. None but Sith can ever set foot on the sacred ground where he stands watch. But you could find the body and bring it to his father. Please do this and honor the Fallen. Very well. If I see the Acolyte's body, I will try to retrieve it. Thank you so much. If you find the Acolyte's remains inside the tomb, let me know. I can tell you where to find his father in the academy. Good luck. It would probably be even a little bit too bad taste for me to continue flirting when we're talking about people dying. Although maybe for the Sith that is flirting. I'm gonna remove my looking for group beacon too. Although I'll keep on the general chat to see if anybody wants to. Don't hold out much hope though. Our objective is clear. Gotta hit the switches. The Acolyte's remains are like right there. Rival Acolyte? Welp. Here's what I do to my rival, bitch. Better check I still have all my parts. Quit complaining, vet. You're fine. I'm the one who leaps into danger like that. Okay. Don't you force lightning me. Get that shit on my face. It's kinda cool how Vet can Just engage. Just like I left it, this place is still ultra crazy. Duly noted. Also, I agree with that, by the way. We're still in the rested state, so... As long as we keep the rested state this whole time... Whoa. Okay, first things first. Acolyte's body. Alright, return to the sentry. And let's talk to this person. What are you? I'm an acolyte now, but I'll be Sith soon. Huh? Why don't you start from the beginning? What do you mean, stronger? Yes, 
If Prythor's the one who exiled you to these caves, I doubt he'll change his mind about feeding you. I'll give it a try. There is strength and power within you. I'd like to know the source. Very well, freaky thing. I will nobly assist you. Alright, Vent. Go ahead and get her open. I was kind of expecting to have a conversation at each point, but... Oh well. There'll be plenty of time for the king. It's kind of rare that I really like the first companion you get. Let me think. Um, T7 is pretty good for the Jedi Knight. I like Vet. Let's see, Smuggler's Corso Rig, so that's out. Jorgen is... well... He gets better over time. But he's always gonna be a dick. Let's see who else. The first console companion is Kaizen. He's a bro. You no, know, he's hearts. He's alright. See it on the Sith side. Your first companion as the Inquisitor is that big freaky thing. Basically like Kaizen except um, a bad guy. There we go. No wonder the Sith haven't won this war by now if they're like, let's shoot each other. That'll be fun. That'll be great. See who am I missing? I'm not sure who accompanies the Imperial agent, so I'm gonna hold off on that. Oh, looks like he doesn't like the DPS we do. That's fair enough. I don't like him. Good work, Vet. Ooh, it looks like there's some damage over time bullshit on you. I hate damage over time effects, especially since I'm never gonna have healing abilities. Not ever in my life. Pwned. Fracking pwned. I'm not gonna bother waiting for force jump recharge or any of that stuff. There you go, that wasn't bad work. Now... Okay... Kill the henchman and then... Hit him with... Fuck! Irritating... That guy's pretty small fry... Alright, another switch... Another switch. Go for it, vet. Okay, two out of four. Good work. It's important to keep some positive motivation. And all the Sith right now are like, oh, 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 oh. What's being positive? Derp, derp. Dark side made my penis so big. But come on, guys. Come on. You know, there's being on the dark side, then there's being a douche. Okay, these monsters deserve to die, though. And they're not droids, they're monsters. I'm sitting here to haunt my nightmares. Man, Vet, you really lay down the damage. My life got so much easier the moment I got you. And that makes me so full of rage. Okay. Next one is right there. If I die, I can't get a master strike off. Whatever. Do it, vet. Awesome. Three out of four. Next objective is not this way. That's interesting. Ooh. 
Better check the floor on the parts. You weren't even touched in that fight. It makes me angry how much you bitch about fucking. Okay. <laughs> There we go. I'll suit you just fine, I might. I think I get force choke eventually. That'd be nice if I got force choke, let me tell you. Alright, this is the place that leads nowhere. I'm gonna kill these guys though. Damage over time. Respawn timer kicks in again. <laughs> Fuck your force lightning. So it's when do acolytes get their own personal henchmen? So there's lots of side passages, but I've already completed my bonus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep moving forward. This place is creepy, but it's a Sith, Sith tomb, so I'd be more worried if it wasn't creepy. Oh, hey, an Inquisitor. Well, time to poke the switch then. Come with those droids. Enter the Forbidden Cavern. Sounds reasonable to me. Force Jump! Master Strike. Derp a derp. Just help you out a little bit. I know I don't get the EXPs for it. That's fine. Basic equipment. Okay. Imperial medical droid. Nice to see you here, that's for sure. Okay, sold off what was in my inventory. It's good to do that at every opportunity, especially early on when you have no inventory upgrades. It's just a good idea generally to empty out when you can. Cash out your chips. Hey, this is it. The secret entrance to the hidden cavern isn't here. Just... Let me get my bearings. It's a trap! Ooh. Take your time, slave. Just have the entrance uncovered by the time I finish killing your new master. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised to see you, Vemrin. You're remarkably predictable. My passions run deeper than yours. I am the true essence of what it is to be Sith. Sure you My are, legacy bro. has suffered long enough. After today, you will be forgotten. It ends here and now. Come at me, bro. Damn it. Can't get enough separation. I like the music. Join the rocket music, that's for sure. No. Bet. Use a stim pack or something. I'm working on it. I think Bet's gonna go down, but I think. No. Yes. Like 
that it makes me so angry. Okay. Becoming Barriss' apprentice was my destiny. Did I come this far and overcome such adversity? Only to be proven unworthy? I have waited a long time to put you in your place. Consider this. Killing you was easy. Then do it. Finish me. As you wish. Yeah. Wow. Nice work. Thank you. Glad to impress you. The secret entrance is right here. Why would I take the light sun option there and praise him after he's been a thorn in my ass for like the entire playthrough? Okay, if I see a vision of Kray or something, I'm running the other way at maximum speed, okay? Uh, you're welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My character is just... a little dumbfounded. Shroviak? Saw that coming four million miles away. I have waited a long time to put you in your place. Consider this. Killing you was easy. Yes. Then do it. Finish me. Okay. Wow. Nice work. Glad to impress you. The secret entrance is right here. Been most helpful. It's nice to be acknowledged. Thanks. No sense in being a dick. Bye, Vemrin. <laughs> well, there's sense in being a dick to Vemrin, because Vemrin is a dick. And but so anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Was a dick. He's no longer anybody's problem. <laughs> Sure, the universe is eternally grateful for that at least. Uh, there we go, doing some DPS now. Not as good as having another smuggler character here with me, but hey. Oh, that was dumb. Look at all the damage, I suppose. Use my Master Strike on the next challenging foe. Okay, they're doing some good, but good damage over time to me, I like that. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely time to... Check, I still have all my parts. Interesting that she's not like, yay, we beat the bad guys, or we beat our enemies, because we are the bad guys. More about the self preservation angle, which makes sense. Wow. This place is creepy.
goodness. Lightsaber, any number of ways. I don't know what color I'm gonna put in my lightsaber. <laughs> Considering my character is gonna be neutral or even worse, light one. Or I don't know. He's maybe I'll just play him neutral and stick with red. I don't know. I haven't decided. I definitely know he's gonna be a juggernaut. There's very little doubt in my mind about that. All right, turn to Darth Barris. Very well. Another pile of loot here. Sith Warblade. Red color crystal. Hmm. My mods. My mod one. I am gonna go sell off my stuff to the medic droid once more. We'll be right back. Okay, normally I would fast travel out of here, but the sentry at the at the front of the tomb is waiting for us to return, so I can't do that. Still, just put this new lightsaber to good use. I die, I'm going to haunt you. I don't have enough commendations to get commendation here. That is a matter of some alarm. up so much. I don't need to kill you guys. Actually, apparently I do, because you're in my goddamn way. Oh. I have an actual lightsaber. I can't believe you guys aren't countering it. Okay, you guys did do a lot of DPS work. Relatively speaking, the lightsaber was like what double the damage potential of the Sith Warblade. Which the Sith Warblade was pretty cool, but I mean, lightsaber, come on. Everybody, Jedi and Sith, awaits their lightsaber with bated breath and eager anticipation. I'm gonna come at you, bro. Oh, nothing beats that ability. It's lovely. Okay. Yeah, let's just head out of the tomb and max it. Powers OP enough when human players use it on each other. Okay. Just need a little. There you go. Just wave 
after a wave of guardian droid. Luckily, we can go this way. I just want to keep my lightsaber out at all times now because I'm so proud to have it. Corban is very short compared with the, the Jedi World Tython, though. I mean, very short. In fact, why don't we just. God damn it. Fuck you. You're dead. Damn shit. I'm just gonna let you live. Clearly, such a person is not becoming a Sith, but. You were gonna live to see another day. Now? I am moving extra slow right now. Oh, I love how these guys have an enormous protection. Please tell me that's a commendation. No, it's not. Look at those gloves. I'll take them. Yeah. I'm gonna give my old gloves to Vet because it will improve her stats. At those early levels, she can use every stat increase she gets. Just like I left it, this place is still ultra creepy. Duly noted. And we're out of here, everybody. Yep. Do, do, do avoiding a couple fights at least. There's that at least. Got a lightsaber. I'm just so happy about that. Level 10, vicious slash. found him. That poor acolyte. He got torn up pretty badly in there. Uh, he was so brave and ready to prove himself to his father. His father is, was, name and fall. As I said before, he's one of the Dark Honor Guards in the Academy. If you take the acolyte's remains to his father, I'm sure he'll be grateful. That sounds worthwhile. Thank you. It's good to see that there are more feelings embraced by the Sith than just hate and fury. You can find the Acolyte's father outside the chamber of the Dark Council. That's where he stands guard. Man, he's important. At least as far as non-Force sensitives go. Feel free to interpret that statement with as much bigotry as possible. Veshta, Sith warrior trainer. In the tomb down there, not gonna bother with that. Anyway, we're back at the academy and we're gonna interact with the lore object really quick. Learn about general enhancement on our ancient lightsaber. Here's the hilt, might hilt one, it increases the might. And here, a mod, might mod one. Of course, there's the color crystal. Forbidden to light one and above. Let us apply it. And there we go. Also, we go with our lightsaber out just to make people jelly. Social items. I forget what the social items on this world are. Probably. Care to take a look at our ordnance? Imperial target for the Empire. Device. Those are useful for planning. The thing is. What can I get for you? We need eight. We only have six. I'll see if quests give us Come back anytime. the last two. I certainly hope so. If not, then I might need to do a little off-screen grinding, and I'll decide if that's worth it or not. We'll see. There's a... Oh, there's the lore object. There we go. Glad I checked that. Okay, item modifications. derp a derp you can just, you don't need a bench, you can just do them. I will demonstrate that. 
find the weapon you want to mod. Control right click. And there you go. Now our lightsaber is... Well, it has a mod in every slot, which increases its stat boosting powers immensely. Oh, ancient lightsaber. Aren't you wonderful? Ancient lightsaber says yes to me. So let's head on in. Just carrying around my new lights. Okay, I'll put it away. If nothing else, then for safety's sake. Because we all know the safety. Ugh. As places of higher learning go, this one has got to be the scariest. Also, it's notable that I will completely agree with that statement. Let's go speak to the overseer first. Creeping hunger. Eh. Probably gonna need to go back to that thing. I don't know where. Or do something for the overseer pro quo and all that stuff. I don't know. What do you want? I'm training slaves to feed the beasts, and I don't have time to chat. Have you heard of a creature called Serun? Serun? You know of Serun? That creature was close to me when I was an acolyte. It helped me survive my trials. It traveled places I couldn't, told me everything it heard and saw. It had been living off vermin before I came along. I figured out a way to make it healthier, stronger. Seirun's special meals. What is Seirun exactly? I've never seen anything like it. Its people come from the planet Bis, but it's lived on Korriban as long as anyone can remember. Seirun never knew exactly what I fed it. Its meals weren't just beast fodder. Seirun ate the corpses of the Academy's failures. Oh. The bones and blood of dead acolytes. Yeah. Feeding on their energy after death, it grew exponentially more powerful with every meal and became strong in the dark side. Bad idea. That has fiasco written all over it. Yeah. Pity I didn't have your insight at the time. When I saw how twisted Seirun was becoming, I sent it away. It was becoming hungrier all the time, and I feared it would attack the living. Destroying it seemed impossible. It could heal any injury it suffered. I hoped it would find a new home somewhere. But it seems we must act more decisively. What exactly is your plan? Aid Seirun and it will turn on us. One more taste of power and it will begin hunting Acolyte. I can't allow that. Together, we must poison Seirun. Before I sent Seirun away, I developed a powerful toxin. But I didn't have the heart to use it. It won't kill the creature but it should strip it of its power. That has possibility. I take some pride in the formula. If we do this, Seirun won't survive much longer. It will hide as best it can and slowly starve. But the alternative is to let it become a living horror. Yeah, I think we need to end this. Then let's poison that thing. I'm glad you see it as I do. I'm giving you this meat. Don't ask me where it came from, but it should fool Seirun. Once the poison is in its system, it will weaken. I take no satisfaction in this, but it is necessary. Very well. So many disgusting quests on the Sith side of things. Is Okay. Seirun. And our master is on level 2. Which is where we need to go for class training anyway, so... I guess, level 2 it is. Hey machine, any level will take 2, have 10 minutes, or it's too late. I'll try to get a group together to do some of the heroic plus 2s. See how it goes. You are strong, but you could be stronger. Thanks for the vicious slash. Show no mercy. Kind of a weird. Like you think level ten it would be an exciting time. We'll see. Huh. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting this. A level 50 Sith Marauder and a level 26 Sith Sorcerer 
have offered to help me through these heroic plus two quests, which are marked for level eight. You know what? I'm down with it. I'm down with it. I'm Oscar Mike there. I can't believe I'm using that. Modern Warfare, oh my god. But we'll be right back, folks. This should not take long. Huh. Part of being a Sith. Is being able to recognize an opportunity when you see it. Such as, oh, being able to watch as they kill him. It'd be hilarious if they tried their bare hands to just fucking punch the enemy to death. They can do it too. I'm having an odd day then, I suppose. Yeesh, and you think I'd be making more, uh jokes of a lowbrow nature about this, but in case you can't tell, her eyes are glowing and pulsing. And... Well... They both have obvious signs of the whole Sith corruption thing. Because, as we know, evil people are unattractive by nature. faster than us. I expect when I get there to see everybody already dead. Look at that. If nothing else, this should be short. Oh, I appear to be stabbing myself just a little bit. So much faster. <laughs> good work, team. I think this was a good team effort. Take stuff. Pardon. Take stuff. I don't see... Oh, is there loot back here that I didn't see? There's something I'm not seeing here. Maybe. No? Alright. Okay. Just making sure. I think I might want to turn this in separately because that might be affecting the EXP I get from from it. Huh. It's not our fault. We don't have sprint yet. Whew. Oh. Alright, it looks like we're doing armed and dangerous as well. Very nice of them. 
Like I said, I'm just having a one of those weird days. Alright, share. Oh. Too many missions is not able to accept a mission. Oh. Well, that's a problem that's easily resolved. I wonder what Vet thinks about me, because first there was the blood rituals, and then there was... And then this, and... This really isn't how my private life normally is, you know? So I'm in a group with them, I'm not going to get experience for the fights, but I will get it for the quests. And you know what? I'll take that. Yeesh. Huff, puff. Share a mission. Too many missions and cannot accept it, but she came in anyway. I. I it, it's whatever. Oh, the Sith! <laughs> Once again, my day has gotten weird. Well, I might as well, you know, put the effort myself. Why am I lagging so bad? This area in particular. I as well kill all the guys. They're mind control. But they're still traitors. Damage guard droid. Look at that. Look at that, they don't even have to care. They can probably just reflect the bolts back to the enemy and that'd be enough. And of course, force lightning every day, that's how it goes. Wow. Oops. Hey, Tunic. How to use Leatherus. Ah, greed. Greed. Just like it pass. Well, they don't. Even though I rolled a one. Deliver Lord Sundar's ring. So we win, guys. I don't know. Credits. Worth it. I wonder, maybe they just got really bored one day. Let's go fuck around on Corvan. I've heard of worse things to do when you're bored. And that was... Huh. We're still sharing loot. That's weird. I'm not sure what the hell. So that was how I beat my heroic missions on Corvin. These two women in slave outfits came up to me and offered me all their dark power. No, I'm serious, guys. That's really what happened. What? What? Ah. Uh, well, sometimes things happen like that. Damn it. It's not like I can't take this. Yeah, I've never had that happen before. I've never seen such high level players go back to the tutorial planet, really. Maybe like on some bonus quest mission, but not just out of the goodness of their heart. That was really nice. Okay, so then we 
go to the tomb of Nagasato and feed the poison meal to Siren. And then we'll turn the quests. So I'll see you guys in the tomb of Nagasato. Oh hey, Efren Zell. You made it! Did it work? Did the red engine produce an inscription? Yeah. I fed it blood, and it gave me this tablet. The tablet of Tulak Horde. Inscribed in the language of the ancient Sith. Yes, oh yes, these are Tulak Horde's teachings, the very methods he used to build the terrible machine below. Huh. I have dreamed of this tablet, dreamed of looking upon Tulak Horde's teachings and studying the arcane science of the dark side. I am honored you give me this opportunity. Take these, small relics I've unearthed that deserve to be used by a true Sith. Not a reward, but recognition of your strength. Now I must excuse myself, and my research must continue. It will be some time before the tablet gives up all its secrets. Good deeds were done today, everybody. For a given definition of good. Corbani battle leggings. Nice. Good pants. Just overall some really bitchin' pants. And they uh, match the rest of me now. It's good. It's good stuff. I guess there's annoying little creatures below, yeah? So now we'll be right back again. Here we are, the mission drop box where we got armed and dangerous. I'm hoping for... Huh. I wasn't hoping for boots. I guess I'll take the boots. These items will be of... No use to Mission Veo over there. Looking to upgrade your arsenal? Yes, I am. Ooh, these boots would be useful. Hmm. I don't know if I'm willing to spend that much money for such a minor stat Good hunting. upgrade, though. I think I'll just save my money at this point. You're creepy. It's all yours. Enjoy. I did what was called for. Our path shall never cross again. Bye. You did reward me with warrior's bracers, which are not particularly helpful. Alright, the species is called a basin. seen us that species before. Okay, every one of our other quests takes place inside the Sith Academy. So I think it's time for a fast travel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm really lazy enough to do that. You bet I am. I hope the volume levels are a little better now. I know I've been a little quiet this whole mission whole video and I apologize for that profoundly. Uh, back in the temple. The academy. It's a temple for Sith. We have grave robbing, take the remains, the name and fall, and then we will report to our master. And that'll be a good session. Oh goodness. Huh. I'm glad that happens. I just realized that I can't dismiss and recall Vet on a whim. And Vet and uh, companions in general tend to be messed up by elevators, so I probably should have gone about that a little more carefully. Uh. You don't belong here. You stand before the Chamber of the Dark Council. 
and this floor is off-limits to all who are not Lords of the Sith. If you are not on official business, you will leave now. I've come with news about your son. So that is the smell you carry. It is said he went into the tomb of Naga Sadao to prove himself, and was killed. He was such a weak boy. He shames me in death as he shamed me in life. When I heard of his death, I could not leave my post. Honor forbade it. Still, I would like to know what happened in that. Of course. Ask away, my lord. Your deference does you credit. Now tell me, where did you find his body? Did my pathetic son even make it past the first steps? In the end, was he Sith? He died valiantly, deep in the tombs. He was nearly Sith. He died well. I suppose my son had more of me in his heart than I had ever considered possible. With this news, you have brought me a peace I didn't think possible. Thank you. I will have him buried in honor. Take this small token of my appreciation and go. Very well. Commendation, I will take that, sir. I'm just hoping my master grants me another one. Or I'll have to think of something. The Dark Council. I don't think we ever meet the Emperor. We probably do on the highest levels of the storyline or something, but... Also, I see a ship there. I bet this is gonna suck. If that lift had been all the way down, I might have died. Also, a debt is back. A debt? <laughs> what the hell? That's my bounty hunter character. Vets back too. Oh dear, Vet is indeed glitching out. See ya. There we go. I can dismiss and resummon. Hey. Which is always the solution in those kind of situations. Once again, I'll snark about that. I hope the volume levels are better now. God, we always meet something. You murderer! Uh, my father was a staunch traditionalist, and he was especially hard on me. But he's my blood. Did you think you could kill him and get away with it? Huh? Um, refresh my memory. I kill many people's fathers. You seek to add insult to injury. I'm Eskla Greiton. My father was overseer Tremel. Remember killing him? Oh. Well, I don't know, but I am in possession of his ring. See? Wow. I'm going to rip that ring from your steaming corpse! Oh, goodness. You can have the ring. I give it to you willingly, Eskela. Here. Great. You think that's going to placate me? You'll rue the day you took his life. Attack! All right. They do a bit of damage, but they go down like this. Well, that makes me sad. I think I could have gone about that a little more diplomatically, but there's always shit like right in that hallway in clear view of Barris, so I just know he watches that and laughs his ass off every time. I am beside myself. Not only did you get the Twi'lek to cooperate, but you completed the task and claimed the ancient lightsaber. Vemran was not in my chamber as I instructed. I take it he sought to stop you and claim the ancient weapon as his own. He tried and failed. Vemran was nothing if not consistent. Bravo. I see you may indeed become one of the strongest Sith in the galaxy. Your trials are over. You are now my apprentice. I am your humble servant, Master. I bow before you. Rise, my apprentice. This is only the beginning. With you as my right hand, 
We shall strike fear into the Empire's enemies. I must convene with the Emperor and inform him of your progress. This shuttle pass will take you to Drummond Koss. Meet me at the Citadel there. As you decree, my lord. Take the Twi'lek slave as my gift. Do with her as you wish. If she'll be of use, by all means take her with you to Drummond Koss. I'm glad she didn't decide to mouth off to him right there. Apprentice. Yes. I am now an apprentice, not an acolyte. And it's time to decide on personalization. Control plus left click. We'll ask to preview. Not on Jorbiak, but on Vet. Her eyes glow. What the frack? Interesting. Vet, what was your original coloring? Is it blue? You know what? Let's keep you with blue then. Level up. Hell to the yeah. Seven commendations. I'm gonna have to think on this. In any case, nice headgear. And she is now our companion, capable of gaining affection and all the regular stuff. And as soon as we get crew skills, she can do crew skills. This seems like a pretty good place to end this session. Let's pop over, grab our level 11 skills, and then, well, next time we'll be boarding the Imperial Fleet. Get our advanced class, get our crew skills, get all sorts of good stuff. I'm going the right way, right? Hmm. Now I passed up the training area. I thought this was the one place I hadn't gotten lost yet. So, of course, I then promptly get lost. Brilliant. Whatever. I'm off Corban. Record time, too, apparently. This was very short. You are strong. But you could be stronger. Ooh. Nice. Show no mercy. Those were some nice abilities. So, next time on Let's Play the Old Republic Sith Warrior Edition. I already said it. Drummond Cons. Actually, the Imperial Fleet. I suspect that'll take up all of next part. See you guys then.